Well, hello, Christ Church of Valley. I hope you are doing well, you and your families today. This is Jacob Tedder, your student pastor, coming in for our family devotion. And uh, we're going to continue our study in the book of Psalms. We're going to be in Psalm 118 today, so if you have your Bibles, you're more than welcome to grab those of your phones or whatever you got. Today, I just want to do a little something differently. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we just, we read Psalms and, you know, kind of glean truths and uh, maybe points and and how they can be applicable to our lives. So I want to maybe do a little something different today and maybe do like an exercise. As we read uh, this psalm, its main theme is Thanksgiving. You know, as as we read it, I just want it to be in the forefront of our minds how good the Lord has been to us, how good He's been to you and to your family, despite maybe the many sufferings we're going on uh, right now in your own personal lives. Or just the discouragement that we all feel from the times that we live in and just with the virus, with our world. And uh, and it helps to have a thankful heart instead of a critical heart, instead of a discouraged heart. Or uh, a heart that's constantly looking for the wrong and everything. And I've just become, yeah, just uh, the past couple of days, just realized how much the Lord has blessed me and my family. And just how I'm thankful uh, that I am that even in trying times that he's been so good to us. And I think that we can all, uh, we all need that right now, that uh, even in the, the worst of times that we can be thankful and knowing that the Lord has been good to us, that he has been uh, loving and kind. So as we read this psalm, let us thank him as we would thank him in our prayers and in our time with him, with this stuff on our mind, because this is... Uh, very encouraging, I think, and, and very just needed for me personally, maybe for you as well. So let's read Psalm 118. It's a little long, so just bear with me and let's read it uh, with thanksgiving in our heart like an exercise. So here we go. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I call on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side, I shall not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surround me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me. Surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They went out like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die. But I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected have become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has made his light to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. You know, I, I just, I love this psalm. It's just full of, <laughs> you just can't, you can't miss the thanksgiving. And uh, it's summed up maybe in the last words, you know. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. You know, almost every psalm that we read, with a hand, with a, maybe one or maybe a handful 
all end with a blessing, all end with a statement of thanksgiving, a statement of praise to the Lord. And this is no exception. <laughs> you know, and you can see, and you, we can hear the song in this psalm. You know, we sing, song, we sing songs in church, and they always have choruses. There are always words that are repeated. And the reason being for our choruses is that it, you know, is repeated. And it can be something that sticks in our mind. Be something that we can all know. You may not know all the verses, but in general, you always know the chorus because it's, we sing it a couple a couple times. Because ultimately, the the theme is in the chorus, and it's similar to something like this. This psalm repeats so many things. I know y'all saw it. You know, let Israel say, "A steadfast love endures forever." He says it multiple times. It is better to trace trust in the refuge of the Lord. Mentioned twice. You know. The Lord, uh, in the name of the Lord, all the nations surrounding me. All, in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I cut, you know, that's mentioned many times. And what's the theme? You know, it's of course, it's the Lord saves us. The Lord is our refuge, and because He saves us, because He loves us, we bless Him. And it says, "Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and His steadfast love." endures forever and you know one of the interesting things it says in verse 18 the lord has disciplined me severely you know <laughs> that sounds so terrible doesn't it? the lord severely is like always like a very uh, harsh word but he has not given me ever to death you know and the, we can all say with true certainty that the lord is all you know the lord has disciplined us severely there are many things that we've done but yet if you're watching this, you're not dead. You know, <laughs> he has not given you over to death, has he? And the Lord loves us, and the love the, uh, the Lord cares for us. And I really hope you know that you and your family are experiencing that during this time, and that with full assurance you can say, "The steadfast love of the Lord endures forever." The difficult thing is, you know, what if we're not feeling that right now? What if you're totally just immersed in discouragement, personal struggles? You know, I don't know. Discour discouragement about what the world's going through. You know, how can we, how can we say the steadfast love endures forever when we're going through that? And I think, you know, perhaps the biggest thing is, you know, that we have to be honest with the Lord. You know, we have to be honest. You know, can God handle our honesty? You know, if we if we feel like we're not doing well, can you talk to the Lord about that? And if you feel like you can't, you know, say these things to Him, then perhaps we need to re-examine our relationship with the God of the universe, because ultimately He said it says that while we were yet sinners, that Christ died for us. So the steadfast love of the Lord endures forever and that's it that's the love of the lord for us that it be given back to him and i sure hope you and your families are doing well that we can say these things together and that perhaps today we can thank the lord for all the things that he's given us even when things look terrible even when things are awful in our own lives that we can say the steadfast love the lord endures forever so, with that, we're done. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your goodness. That you have love for us, you care for us, that you discipline us in your love, that you watch over us, that you care for us, that even in the worst times, even when we're so discouraged, personally attacked, personally struggling, that your steadfast love endures Please, Father, help us now feel your love. For those who feel like they don't feel that at all or who are struggling, please may an extra measure of your grace be given to them. May they taste and see your goodness, and may you watch over them, Father. Give us a heart of thanksgiving instead of a heart of uh, being critical, unthankful, selfishness. And help us to love you more. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And may it be extremely blessed. And I hope to see you all very soon.